we've only just got used to photorealistic AI images. And now Runway has taken a giant leap forward, enabling users to create stunning videos in seconds. The superpower that was once exclusive to professional video editors is now at your fingertips. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today I will break down the best video generator into its core components. We'll explore the platform's interface and test its key features. I'll show how AI can transform images into videos, adjust dimensions and remove backgrounds. Then we'll dive into the lip sync, subtitles and transcript modules, among others. By the end you will know exactly how to work with Runaway and create your first video. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's dive in and see just how far the Runaway's capabilities extend. Runway Tutorial Let's get started by connecting to our account. All we need to do is log in with Google. And the platform's main admin panel appears on the screen. So what do we have here? Access to Gen3 Alpha, Gen3 Alpha Turbo and Gen2. Plus, we can generate our own character using an image and video in the Gen3 Alpha. Another feature is the ability to fine-tune your generations with tools like camera control, keyframes and more. You can also generate videos longer than 10 seconds. Once it is completed, we are redirected to the admin panel, where we now have access to the standard plan. Let's take a closer look at the main features available here. We can start a new session, which we'll explore a bit later. And we also have access to Runway's AI tools. There are plenty of them to discover. Now let's explore some of the available tools. There's the Generative Session feature, which allows you to create custom videos. You can also generate audio for your videos and use the Lip Sync tool to synchronize text with lip movements. Additionally, you can remove backgrounds, convert text into images, or transform existing images into new ones using the editor. What's next? The Infinite Image tool allows you to expand an existing image by generating contextually related elements. The Expand Image feature serves a similar purpose. Frame interpolation lets you work with frames. With Erase and Replace, you can cut and swap fragments in the images. Backdrop Remix helps you create unique remixes of your images. An image variation generates different versions of uploaded images. Next, you can generate videos from existing videos using the Gen 1 model. Tools like 3D Capture, 3D Textures and in Painting are available to enhance your videos. Additional video tools include Color Grading, Super Slow Motion, Blur Faces, Depth of Field, Scene Detection and Extract Depth. For audio, you can use tools like Clean Audio and Remove Silence. The Transcript and Subtitles tools are great for working with videos. For images, features like Add Colors and Upscale Image provide additional editing options. Lastly, Motion Tracking allows you to track moving objects in your videos. Let's move on and start a new session to work with video. Here we can name our session and the platform notifies us that the video will be saved in the Assets folder. Additionally, we can look through the Gen3 prompting guide, which provides detailed instructions on writing effective prompts using the camera, generating images and exploring various camera styles with examples. It's a comprehensive and helpful tutorial that can significantly enhance your prompt generation skills. The guide also covers lighting styles, showing how different lighting setups will look in your video. 
It explains movement speeds and types with examples, as well as style and aesthetics, text styles, and bracket placeholders. It's a highly detailed tutorial that you can follow and use to enhance your projects. On the main page, we have the option to upload an image or video, either create one from scratch or use an existing file. After uploading an image, you can view the guide or examples to craft a proper description for your shot. For instance, the examples show us various style prompts you can use. Let's go ahead and upload an image. I'll use my photo. Now let's wait for it to process. We can adjust the cropping to make sure my hand is visible in the frame. You can choose between landscape or portrait modes. Let's go with portrait and apply one of these effects. I'll select one at random and click generate. Now we'll wait until the process is done. Let's see what the runway AI creates from my photo and the prompt we entered. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. We're back and Runway has done its job. It generated the 10 second video clip based on the description I provided in turbo mode really fast. Here, you can see why I wanted my hand to be visible. The video shows how I can dynamically move it. Now we can rate the video, add tags, apply various actions, Edit the video, transform video to video, synchronize lips, download it, add it to favorites, rename it, share it, or even report something. We can also regenerate the video, view the full prompt used here, or delete the result. Let's take another look at the settings. We can adjust the camera to be horizontal or vertical, set the zoom and see how it looks in the preview. There are sliders we can use to adjust the pan, which controls how the camera turns. We can also change the tilt, which controls a vertical adjustment and adjust the roll, which affects the camera's angle relative to the horizon. All of these options are available in this mode. We can also add driving performance and record a character reference. For instance, we can use one of these references. Additionally, we can select the video we have and reframe it to landscape orientation. If we have a vertical video, for example, we can convert it to horizontal and the AI will automatically fill in the missing parts. This is a great and useful tool for video editing. Let's open the actions menu and edit the video we have. We can adjust its playback speed to make it faster. We can also increase shake strength and shake speed. This toggle allows us to reverse the video, but we won't need that. Let's try rendering it and see what we get. The process is complete and our video is now 2 seconds shorter. Let's check the result. 
we can see that the movements are faster but also more chaotic, with some strange, unclear objects added. Now guys, I've downloaded this video to show you how we can expand it. I'll drag it to the prompt area and click Generate. The AI processed it quickly, and we can see how it transformed. Runway added side parts to the vertical video, turning it into a horizontal one. Now let's download this file and move on to the next tool. I want to go to the dashboard and work with something like remote backgrounds. We can use the videos we've already generated. You can also watch the tutorial that Runway offers to learn how to work with the tool. Now let's add the file to the timeline and see how the AI processes it. Here I'm adding a photo. And now I want to add the last video to the timeline. You need to click on the area of the photo where there's a dynamic object, something you don't want to remove. So we'll delete these dots, select the objects we want to keep and click Done Masking to test this tool. Runway offers us a quick tour of all the basic settings. There are a lot of them. But we'll skip this for now and wait for the generation to finish. We can see that there are some artifacts in the video that we could remove, but we can work on that. You can also add subtitles change the background or use templates for your videos. Let's continue working with the video. Go to all tools and using the Gen 1 model, we'll explore the video to video tool. I'll upload the clip we generated earlier and try to work with it. We'll wait for it to load. Here we can see the original input, and the platform also offers us to use the Gen 3 Alpha model. Let's select one of the presets that Runway offers. I like the one called Android. You can preview it and adjust the style strength. I'll reduce the weirdness and skip the other settings for now. You can also use your own prompt to describe what you want to see in the video. But for now, we'll just stick with the Android preset. Let's wait for Runway to complete the task. The work is done and we can see how our video has transformed. Since I set the weirdness parameter low, there are still some recognizable elements. By increasing the weirdness, we can make the video almost unrecognizable. Let's move on to the lip sync video feature and select one of the generated videos to use it as a preset. For example, let's type a line of dialogue and choose a voice. 
James works great. Then we'll try to combine the original video with our dialogue, so Runway can sync the lips with the text. The video is ready so we can check the result. Hello, my name is Daniel. I tell you about Runway. We can see that the AI did an okay job. Let's download the result and head to the transcript module. Now we'll try to translate the video. We need to wait for it to load, choose our target language and click Generate. The work is in progress. Once done, we'll get a full transcript of what was said in the video. You can edit, download, or delete it as needed. Back to the dashboard. And now we're trying out the subtitles tool. We'll select our video, wait for it to upload, and choose the language. Then we'll generate a new clip with subtitles. Here we can see their placement and that the AI has automatically recognized the voice to add the subs. We can also add more text to this video or use masks and templates. Runway offers an extensive toolkit for working with video. You can also work with images, generate and edit photos, generate audio and edit videos. Overall, it provides a wide range of powerful features. Final thoughts. Okay guys, let's conclude our tutorial. Runway is clearly the future of video generation. We've explored the platform's incredible potential, where you can take a single photo and turn it into a short video. All you need is a spark of creativity and the limitless tools this service offers. By the way, which tool did you like the most? Are there any features you would like to dive deeper into? If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.